what is up you guys? Chelsea Briggs here coming to you from South by Southwest 2015 joined by Jukebox the Ghost. It's true. The time is now. So let go. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> How's your South by going so far? So far, so good. It was supposed to have rained the whole time, and it I hasn't. Know. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling happy on the inside. Did you bring an umbrella? No, no. no. This, this was my rain gear. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then you can just put it over the head if, if right. all else yeah, fails. Right. Yeah. Stupid. You know, use a South by Southwest, you know, pamphlet. Yeah. To cover my head. Yeah. Well, and you've been here before. So what's the key yes. to kind of surviving this uh, crazy festival? It's why the uh, that's our, our drummers and saying, don't care if you stop <laughs> if you like, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but just. Um, if you lower your expectations and you don't think that every show is the most important show ever, I like that. then you can just be like, all right, we're just going to do this. That's fun. Just have fun. Yeah, that and sleep and drink a lot of water. Those are the big ones. I like that. And I love your music. I think it's so uplifting Thanks. and fun. Thanks. Talk to me about kind of the creative process for you guys. So there are there are two songwriters in the band. Uh -huh. uh, the other one is, is hopefully still in bed, resting <laughs> recuperating, and he plays guitar. His name is Tommy. Um, and, and he and I write... Uh, separately and then bring it into the band and then as a band we sort of tear it apart and deconstruct and reconstruct and and turn the songs into songs that sound like jukebox mm -hmm. um, but, but that's it so I mean there's there's all every song has a different life some songs mm -hmm. you write and it's done in two hours some songs take months of figuring out and, and rearranging what do you want your fans to take away from the music that you put out there I mean one of the things we just we just made a new record that came out in the fall it's being re-released you know we're, we're making pop music and there's we sort of don't shy away from that but we hope that while we're making pop music, we're making music that can be rewarding on multiple listens. So it's got something subversive or some like harmonic or musical complexities, but still you could put it on a party and enjoy it. Yeah, and you're re-releasing it, like you said. What are you adding? Anything changing? Like what goes into re-releasing yeah, an so album? Yeah, so this is unique both for us. So we just signed uh, to Cherry Tree. Okay. Uh, fantastic, fantastic label, and um, they're part of the Universal system, and they'd like. Keen and Lady Gaga and Feist and have this they take a lot of like pop bands and bring them center so they've never re-released a record that's already been released we've never had one of ours re-released um, but what I did is I, I went into the studio uh, back in December and re-recorded all the songs on the record as uh, solo piano improvised hmm. versions there'll be like a bonus disc and the gotcha. entire the entire album reimagined uh, as a solo piano piece. That's ex that's really exciting. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song on the album? Uh, Hollywood is my okay. favorite on the on the actual record. It's uh, both like it, our drummer is singing for the first time in a live setting. It's like the most anthemic, the most exciting. Um, but all all of them, every song on the record has <laughs> some redeemable feature. <laughs> is it about Hollywood? Yeah, it's about uh, how like in love and 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 uh, from a specific situation I came from, how like you want it to be like dreamland and perfect and all this like idyllic storybook whatever, but then real life is just it's not real so life. Like that. Uh, yeah, so the tag is, uh, you want Hollywood, but this is real life. I love that. I saw you tweeted that you got recognized in a cab. Or yeah. A... Uh, well, no, a pedicab driver. So one of the guys on the, he, like we had just gotten, he goes, Jukebox of Ghost. And then actually on the way over here, a guy on a bike, only people with bikes, but a guy on a bike stops. <laughs> he goes, great show yesterday, Anthem. All hey, right, high cool. five. Yeah, I'll take that. wonder what that tells you about your your audience, we are, the bike riders. Yeah, we we have active. athletic, have, active fans. They listen fans. to your music when they work out. Yeah. They like, you know, right? Which is good, yeah. <laughs> We're promoting good health. <laughs> I like that. And you just got off a crazy long tour. We did. Yeah, we just did two months, uh, full national headline. Uh, I mean, we were at Austin, I don't know, three, four weeks ago. Jeez. Um, and here we are here again. We are. Uh, but we feel good, you know. To, uh, we have today and tomorrow at South by, and then, then we're done. Okay. So, and then lots of sleep. Then lots of sleep. Yes. What did you learn from this tour? What was like the big lesson you're taking this away? Was, the the big lesson was <laughs> tour with friends and tour with people okay. you like. The the people on this tour, uh, we had uh, secret someone's on the whole thing, uh, who are great friends of ours from New York. We had Twin Forks, which is uh, Chris Caraba from Dashboard Confessionals. Gosh, like I love him. I he, saw I saw him. They debuted like two years ago at South by. Yeah. I was super excited to see them, but he, he's, I'm a big dashboard. He is such man. a delightful, kind, warm person. Yeah. It's wonderful. Uh, and then we had Little Daylight for the second half in their New York band. And mostly it was just such family vibes. And, That's you know, good. we've all done tours with bands that you didn't get along with or whatever, but this was just, it was, it was fun. And, yeah. and it's, it sometimes, 
tour can be more hard than it is fun, and uh-huh. this was more fun than it was hard. So what are you gonna do now when the tour is almost over? I don't know. Prob- probably have a mental breakdown, <laughs> you know, an existential crisis, and try to figure it's out what to I'm be doing like with my life. Good, like a relief, right? You would, you would think, but, but you get not. back and you've come from two months of like everyone telling you how good you're doing, and then you're just like just an, a random person in Brooklyn, and your ego is, is has to reset. And you're like, and here and, I am. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to sleep in a hotel. Oh, I don't have to perform tonight. What, what do I people do? People are screaming at me as I yeah. walk on stage. Yeah. Yeah. People on bikes aren't recognizing <laughs> me. What am I supposed to do with my life? Are you plans for another tour coming up? We have some festival dates, um, and uh, we have a big tour that isn't announced. So I can't really talk about okay. it. But uh, but, but this summer up. we have a big tour that, that we'll be announcing soon. Cool. Cool. Thank you so much for chatting with us. You're welcome. Thanks Let's for high having five me. one more okay, just yeah. because. Ah, Thank you so much, it. you guys. And for more on South by Southwest 2015, be sure to head to hollywire.com and hollywire TV, and we'll see you later.